Dallas area but can't decide where you want to land? Well, I've lived in Allen for over 12 years, so here is my honest experience and five things that I love about Allen and one thing hmm, I really don't like. Hi, I'm Karen Torres. Welcome to my channel where we discuss Dallas homes and Dallas living as well as the surrounding suburbs. I've been a realtor with Ebby Halliday for 10 years and was born and raised in the North Texas area. Now, if you are new to Texas or thinking about moving to Texas, I would encourage you to take advantage of my Dallas relocation guide that is packed full of information. I'll be sure to add a link in the description so that you can get acquainted with the area. And for my current Texas residents out there who are looking to move, I'd love to help, uh, help you navigate your way through the home buying or home selling process. Okay, so here we go. Here are my top five things that I love about Allen. Number one on my list is Max's Donuts. Seriously, this is a city treasure. I have never uh, in my life tasted a donut like they make at Max's until moving to Allen. It is donut perfection. Um, if you have a sweet tooth, your sweet tooth is going to be in heaven. But it's not just the clumps of glazed sugar that make Max's donuts stand out. The density of Max's donuts have to be double the weight of normal donuts. So I thought it would be fun to have a side-by-side -side comparison. Um, so here we have a Max's donut right here. And here we have a Krispy Kreme donut. So how about we take a moment and compare. Okay, so first of all, I want you to just look at purely the difference in size. Um, definitely, definitely a smaller donut over here on the Krispy Kreme side. Um, also, I want you to notice the glazed sugar that is on here and the large clumps of it. I don't know if you can tell that in the video, but there is definitely a difference in just the glazed sugar that's on here. Now, I understand that this one from Max's does not have the center cut out. So in order to be fair, so that when I weigh these, they uh, are apples to apples, I'm going to cut out the center so that there's no unfair advantage. Okay, so we are going to compare the Krispy Kreme versus the Max's Donut. Now, if you'll notice, the scale is set to two ounces right now, so let's just take a look and see what happens when we put on our Krispy Kreme Donut. So, can you tell what it says from there? Let me look. It's a little over one ounce because um, it's, it's at three, a little over three right now. So we're just going to say one ounce for a Krispy Kreme donut. Okay, so now we are going to take the Max's donut and I've got the hole in the center and we're starting at two ounces. So let's take a look and see where this comes in. I have a feeling it's going to be substantially higher. It came in at five ounces. Can you see that? Okay, so uh, Krispy Kreme came in at three and Max's came in at five. So, um, of course, remember, take off the, uh, the two ounces that, that it starts with. Okay, so that means that Krispy Kreme has a one ounce donut and Max's has a three ounce donut. I uh, guess that explains why it feels like you're eating two donuts when you've just had one uh, with a Max's donut. They're so good. Okay, moving on, number two is Celebration Park. Alan did it right when designing this 104 acre community park. That includes lighted baseball and soccer fields, tennis court, basketball court, huge playground area, and a spray ground. Literally, if you have an outdoor activity, you can probably find a place to do it at Celebration Park. And to top it off, the park 
um, hosts Allen USA, which is Allen's 4th of July celebration, which uniquely celebrates the last Saturday of June with a day full of food trucks, live music, and a fireworks show that will fill your heart with pride. Seriously, it is spectacular. Number three, size and location. Allen has a premium location in Collin County with easy access to two major highways. US 75 runs north and south and State Highway 121 provides travel east and west. Now let's take a look at the size. When comparing Allen to its neighboring cities in 2021, Plano's population is over 285,000 and McKinney is over 214,000 while Allen is just under 110,000. So it's one of the smaller towns that is still located within a reasonable distance to downtown Dallas. And when you dig deeper and realize that the land mass for Allen is substantially smaller than its neighbors, you begin to understand why Allen has been able to maintain its small town feel. Plano is 71 square miles and McKinney is 68 square miles. However, Allen is only 26 square miles. So you can literally drive the width of Allen within 30 minutes um, with a town being almost equally split in half by 75. Which leads me to number four, community spirit. Due to the small landmass and the town being evenly split by 75, Allen Independent School District made the conscious choice to locate its one and only high school in the middle of town. So no matter where you are located in the town, it's not more than a 15 minute drive to the school. Now, this decision to have one high school isn't for everyone because it is a very large high school. But what I will say is this town rallies behind this school. One school, one Allen. All you have to do is go to an Allen High School football game and you'll see it in full display. Okay, finally, number five, shopping. Allen offers a plethora of shopping options, but one of my favorites is Waters Creek. This area is so beautifully designed with a running creek trickling next to the Village Green where concerts are held over the summer and even serves as host for the Allen High School uh, Band's kickoff performance and fundraiser celebrating the start of a new school year and football season. There's that community spirit again. Uh, Waters Creek offers boutiques, well-known retail stores, a multitude of dining choices, including Cheesecake Factory, Mi Cocina, P.F. Chang's, just to name a few, and many restaurants have patio dining overlooking the lush landscaping and water features. Also, if you have little ones uh, shopping with you and they need to burn off some energy, there is a fabulous play area that the kids will love. Now, another very popular shopping destination is the Allen Premium Outlets with over 115 designer and name brand outlet stores. Unfortunately, this leads me to the one thing I really do not like in Allen, and that is the parking at the outlet mall. It is bonkers, and with Christmas fast approaching, it will become even crazier. So my suggestion, if at all possible, is for you to shop on the weekdays and avoid coming on the weekend. This will save you many headaches and possibly prevent you from pulling your hair out. And if coming on a weekday is not possible, just take a deep breath as you enter the Mad Max parking arena. Okay, what do you think? Interested in learning more about Allen? I've added a link in the description that will take you directly to homes currently for sale in Allen in all price points. And one last thing, don't forget to take a moment to subscribe to my channel so you'll be the first to hear when a new video has been added. As always, feel free to reach out to me by phone, text, email, or comment below with any questions you may have.